You're tuned in to Super Mega Cast, the only podcast for the sons of Israel. What's up, guys? <laughs> Have we started one like that before? Maybe. <laughs> I've, I feel like I've heard that before. We're the sons of Israel, though. So Yeah. Uh, welcome well, to Super One Su- of us is. That being you. Oh, you're Palestinian. That's right. Fucking idiot. Well, you can still be a son of Israel. No, I cannot. Yes, you can. Nope. Uh, I will not abandon my people. Can you explain why? What is there something? Is there something with Israel and Palestine that I'm missing? Is there some conflict that I'm not understanding? I thought they were allies. Are they not? You know, they say that the truest friends start out as the worst of enemies. Yeah, one day Israel and Palestine are going. to I don't be... even think that's a real saying. <laughs> <laughs> that, you it know, sounds that, like it could be. It, that makes no sense. It, it doesn't make that makes sense. Zero but sense. If someone <laughs> if someone said it, you'd let it pass. Yeah, I'd be like, oh yeah, that's a. You can bullshit a lot of things like that. You can just come up with like, oh, you know, the old saying and then say something as long as it sounds like official like that. Like the deepest of our enemies can become the closest to our hearts. And it's like, oh, yeah, that's that's a that's a well-known saying, right? Well, I mean, it 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 opens you up to to, uh, I don't know, mend bridges that were once thought to be broken, maybe with with an enemy. Like the bridge to Terabithia. That bridge broke and she fell in the water and died. Is it too late to become a vigilante, Matt? Am I too am I too old? Is it not cool? You're 27, dude. You can be a vigilante. I was thinking of getting getting like a mask. Like what type of vigilante? Like I'd go fight crime around LA. Oh. I dude, I can't think of a like a better but worse city to do that in. <laughs> Because you're just going to deal with people on meth that have super I'd clean strength. up the streets. I'd get the homeless off of Skid Row. Get the fuck out of here! <laughs> I'm gonna go clean up the streets and just scream at homeless people and beat them up. Get the fuck out of here! I went. To, I did. I did a good deed this week. I went to uh, Echo Park. Uh, you did a good dude this week. It's crazy. No, I did a good deed. Not which my is, sort of thing. deeds. The plural for dude. I I went to the park. Nice sunny day. There was some homeless assholes sitting there, uh, being all homeless and shit. I beat the shit out of them. Put them on a bus to go to somewhere else. Good. Yeah. Good. Hopefully, maybe a bus stop in the middle of the Arizona desert. Ooh. There also, I found a, a homeless guy who uh, was, you know, he had a, he had a Mexican accent, so I got him deported. Woo-hoo-hoo. Yeah. Fucking badass. Welcome to Super Mega Cast episode two hundred. Now they didn't do a they didn't do a background check before they deported him. They just no. They were just, like, yeah. I mean, sound didn't. yeah. Do you do you think that the uh, immigration services and border patrol really do a background check? No, they don't have time. No, they're busy with deporting everyone else. So yeah, all the criminals. They're busy putting kids in cages and separating them from their parents with no records of whose kid is who. Anyways, as Matt was saying, welcome <laughs> to the, uh, episode two hundred sixty one of the Super Mega Cast. Yes, sir. Where uh, we just like to keep it real with our audience. Yeah, you know, we just keep it real. We just we really like we say the things that. Other podcasters are too afraid to say. Exactly. Other podcasters, they, 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 they have this fantasy in their heads. Like the the world is is perfect. Oh, I don't want to offend anyone. I don't want to get the I, you have to be audience perfect. mad. Well, you won't hear this on other podcasts. And then I'm gonna put a clip of uh, a slur right there. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're not saying it. Yeah. Just 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 put uh, when Michael Richards yelled the N word. Okay, I will. Obviously, there is no clip. I didn't forget to put a clip. I'm not going to put a clip. Ryan really forgot to put the clip again. How lazy. He forgot to put the N word in the middle of the super mega cast. They mentioned it in the middle, like the first two minutes. (laughs) What? Like the advertising agency, like, guys, what? It's our podcast. It's called Freedom of Speech, jackass. And that means we could say whatever we want with no consequences, idiot. Whenever we want. Mm hmm. And we're going to say it. How not, we want it. Not the N-word, but we're, we're going to say what we're thinking. Exactly. But not the N-word. You know, I like those super mega boys. They say what they're thinking. All right, guys. But, uh, yeah, welcome back. Uh, we are actually nearing the end of an era right now. Uh, the end of the era of our podcast as it's been for 260 episodes up to here. Yeah. We don't know. what We're hoping to make a, the change soon definitely by 70 but it's going to it's it's i mean that's still like a good two months away for a lot of people but yeah yeah uh and and we have seen people voice concerns that it's like oh well 
you know, I like this podcast. And if you switch it over to uh, like live action on a set where we can see you guys, you're going to focus on visual gags and uh, the podcast will lose the way it feels. That's not true. We will not be focusing on visual gags. We're going to try to maintain it. I'm not saying a visual gag won't happen here and there, yeah. but we're going to try to maintain it because we know everyone, most of our listeners will be audio only. So we're, we're going to keep it comfortable for that. You know, we're going to make sure that you could still, uh, uh, we're going to have a chill setup where we can have nice and relaxing conversation. It's going to be like about, this talking about stars and, and, and oceans, specifically the star named Ryan McGee. Yep. Yeah. Which you, you where's the certificate? It never fucking came. What? I paid uh, well, extra. You have an online version. I, well, I paid extra to get it framed and but, have it sent. But you still have the certificate. Well, you okay. Think- you know what? I'm gonna actually go right now. If you guys, uh, Ryan, while I'm looking for the certificate, can you can you please explain to maybe newer viewers or people who skipped that episode? Uh, it's in the Super Mega Cast episode called "We Buy a Star." I think is the title. It is episode. Uh, 191 Matt buys a star Matt buys a star uh, G Scorpi was the was the star uh, which is now named Ryan McGee and that was in May of 2020 it's not named Ryan McGee well yes it is because I bought it and named it Ryan McGee it's so, my star so Matt uh, knowingly got scammed uh, no I did <laughs> I didn't get scammed you fucking asshole why don't you stop spreading spreading fake news and lies? There's no there's no fake news and lies, my brother. I'm just okay. <laughs> you, you okay? How, how about you spent an interesting amount of money interesting? for something that never came? Okay, you know what? Give me because uh, most of the money went for the certificate to get here, right? Or did most of the money go to the star? Uh, most they, which one they, cost more? They put it on a rocket and sent it straight to the star. Uh, sorry, I'm just trying the to certificate? find. I'm trying to what find. What are you talking this, about? I'm trying to find the certificate. Of, Did you lose it? N- I'm just finding my email. No, I searched Ryan McGee in my email. Where's the email. last place you remember it being? Search star, uh, and then I got to go back to May 2020. Oh wow, I have a lot of emails that have the word star in them. But I bought Ryan his very own star, and he didn't appreciate it. There's a star uh, way up in the sky at the night sky, which you can see with the naked eye on certain nights. And it's named Ryan McGee. And there's a Wikipedia page for that star. And people did put, uh, people, this, this is not the, uh, I'll go check. People right. put, I don't know why it gets I'll taken off because it, it's page. in, it says in popular culture in which, that section. So yeah. it's not like it's a lie, but it's like in popular culture. On episode 191 of the podcast, super mega cast, uh, the star was named Ryan McGee. So I'm going to It's also called Fuyue. References? No. Search properties. Search uh G score by. That's two what I eyes. No, yeah. It's I'm on there. the page. I'm already on the page. I'm I'm just looking uh to see. Sorry, I'm trying to find uh Yeah, why don't you focus on that? I don't know what the service was called that I bought it from. That's why it's it's gonna be in May twenty twenty though. That's all I know. So it'd be crazy if they actually ripped me off. That wouldn't it would not happen. Oh, those are email offering us ambassadorship for Triller. A fantastic <laughs> service that uh, we'll definitely uh, start posting on. Triller offered us this this thing, basically. You guys know Triller. It's like they try to compete with TikTok unsuccessfully. And then, you know, H3H3 has that big... Uh, lawsuit. Lo- is it a lawsuit? Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. He's, he's being Against sued. what's his name? Ryan Murphy? Ryan Kavanaugh? Ryan Kavanaugh, yeah. And he... Uh, Brian or Ryan Kavanaugh? I think it's Ryan Kavanaugh. Where the fuck is this? I'm look, Sorry, dude. I'm just trying to find star certificate. And it's just like... Hey, and if you're going to sue anyone, Ryan, other Ryan, sue Matt. I didn't besmirch your beautiful name. Uh, your gorgeous name. Don't sue me. Because that would be kind of Sue not epic. Sue Matt. Sue Matt. Sue Ryan. Sue no, Ryan. We have the same name. I didn't say anything disparaging against you. I didn't say anything disparaging. I just said that Triller offered us some deal where they're like, we'll give you guys a stake in the company with like some really small share in the company. You like said really he looks small. like he has bad breath before the podcast. I didn't say that, but he does look like he has bad breath. And See, there's good pictures of him with Harvey Weinstein. Um, okay, I found it, Ryan. But wait, What? Yeah, there's pictures of him with Harvey Weinstein. No, there's pictures of there's pictures of him because he looks like Harvey Weinstein. Ethan has a picture on his <laughs> podcast. Look at this. Uh Ryan Cava Cava Na Harvey Weinsteinberger. 
<laughs> Weinstein Look, burger. Here's him kissing Harvey Weinstein on the head. <laughs> Is that him yeah. kissing Harvey Weinstein on the head? Yes. Dude. I told I, you. Um... Harvey Weinstein looks looks so happy. Good. My man's had a glow up. <laughs> My man be dressing. Uh, ooh. I love the video of him getting slapped in the face at a restaurant. Oh, that one's good. Get the fuck out of here, He's man. Just like because he can't do anything about it. No, of course not. Uh, okay, I found it, Ryan. In fact, I might have to. Your Cosmo Nova order from April 29th, twenty ninth, twenty twenty is processed. Matt, your star is registered. Congratulations, your star now officially named and shines in the sky. Uh, okay, here we go. Here we go. Uh, estimated dispatch time for my framed certificate, three days. Um, I spent eight, dude, I spent a hundred dollars on- Did they not on, send you tracking at all? Uh, no. Okay, you know what? Hmm. Get in touch by email. I'm emailing them right now. Don't, don't, don't do that, man. Don't do that. Hello. Don't do that. Is that his, his bodyguard? <laughs> Us to Justin. He looks so surprised. Get your fucking ass out of here. You're a fucking piece of shit. <laughs> and what would you do about it? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> I like that, like the guy with Harvey Weinstein's well, trying to like you clap do back. about it? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> what, what do you mean, what'd you do about it? You just slapped him. <laughs> what are you going to do about it, Harvey? <laughs> don't, don't, don't do that, man. Don't do that. <laughs> he like gave him like, like a light, light, light slaps on the face. I was hoping uh, it was going to be more of a... What sucks, though, is that Harvey Weinstein is one of those people that's rich, even though he's fallen from his throne, but could still be like, all right, I'll sue you for assault and a lot of money. Harvey Weinstein's such a despicable piece of shit. Like, a lot of people don't realize how in-depth, like, how bad it actually got, where he would have teams of people do back, like, dig on the girls he was he was sleeping with. Find uh, dirt and then blackmail black them. them with it, like, specifically. Like, he would, like, he and enjoyed also, it. Like not just that, but like blatant like it's also a rapist threats. Yeah, and also his penis was apparently so stinky and really, really like disformed. That was in the court uh, documents. They had to t testify. They were just trying to embarrass him. <sighs> How could they do, my man? You know what, dude? All these great men that they try to embarrass by making fun of their penis. Harvey Weinstein, Jeffrey Epstein, Michael Jackson. What's wrong? They said that. I love that in the deposition. It's like. Mr. Epstein, your penis has been described as egg-shaped. Is that true? Uh, and he's like, what? And he's like, you know, it's it's very uh, thick at the base. Isn't that where he cuts the inner, like he laughs? His like, yeah, he laughs and his, lawyer, like, okay, his lawyer's like, we're not, we're not doing this. And he's like, it's just a question. I wonder if it was egg-shaped. Like literally it's just the exact shape and size of an egg. <laughs> of an egg? Don't, wouldn't want to crack that one. like a boiled egg when you <sighs> bobbled around with it? Like if you held a, a, a warm boiled egg in your hand that didn't have the shell. Or maybe it does have the God, shell. I love boiled eggs. Boiled eggs are good as fuck. I love deviled eggs now. Mm. You hear? I love deviled eggs. I love making deviled eggs. Devil, dude, deviled eggs are a delicious southern delicacy. They are. Um, sorry, man. I'm emailing the Cosmonova team. Hello, I paid for an order to frame certificate from my star in April on April 29th, in April 2020, and it never arrived. Okay, I just emailed them, dude, uh, and I'm and I said to ship it to the office. So, I hope we can get that star certificate soon. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's I really only, want that. It's the only way to prove, and and then you can then you can you have then you can take a picture with it and you have physical proof. And when people say you don't own a star, specifically people you like Ryan McGee, exactly. I could say no, you're wrong. Look, I you I can carry do. it in your uh, wallet. You can can you get a tiny version that goes in a wallet? Did they give you that option when you bought it? I know, but I can print my own, I'm sure. Your own little tiny version of it? Yeah. Could I have a little tiny version of it as well? Yeah, if you'll if you'll Just actually put it on, if you'll I'll, actually agree. I'll carry it around. It's my star. It's okay. my star, technically. It's named after. Here's me. the star map. Oh, and I got a phys I ordered a physical copy of the star map. I paid $19 for a black uh three fourth uh inch thick frame. Um Okay, it says it's assigned in the star registry, dude. What the fuck? I clicked the certificate and it says file not found? What the fucking shit? Okay, I gotta send another email real quick. You know, I could sue- Sorry, hold up. I'm, I'm, I'm texting some very important people. Are you Will Smith? Oh. How's he been, dude? Shut up. Don't talk to me when I'm trying to think of what witty banter I'm gonna type to Will Smith right now. 
Can I talk to the... You know what? If Cosma Nova fucks us over with this star, you know what that means, right? Okay, I'm done. What? If Cosma Nova fucks us with this star, we will we will send the full force of our fans upon them to destroy the reputation the of their business. <laughs> the Megheads. God, dude, Jackson coined the term Meghead, and I can't decide if I hate that or... Meghead is... I, 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 I it's never... good for an ironic term. Megheads. I, I would like I think Megahead would have been better, maybe even. Meghead just makes me think of Meg Griffin. Man, maybe that's better. <laughs> I'm a Meghead. I I never got, you know, why uh they always made fun of her for being so unattractive. I thought she I thought there were certain redeeming qualities. Yeah. Like what? Like her glasses. Yeah, the, the round glasses. Or her triangle nose. I, I I did like the uh she did have a nice nose, and I will say that the the hat was was, she had her mother's nose. She did. She had her. She didn't have Peter's little nub nose. I wonder See, what that would look like. It's it's weird that Meg look had more of a prominent feature from her mother, which Chris, Peter thought was ugly. And Chris had more of a prominent feature from his father. Usually, the son would look more like the mom. That's yeah. That's actually a good. Uh, uh, point like I would love to see some fan art where they swap that out where you know Chris looks more like Lois can someone do that for us please that would really be for free that would oh, yeah, well, I'm not paying someone for that exactly but. you can you can do it on your phone your best representation of what Chris would look like with what well, I guess I could just simply photoshop Meg's nose onto Chris and then figure that out for myself. Well, my thing about Meg is that uh, Meg what would was, Meg look like with like Peter's nose, Chris's nose type of. That's what I want to see, and I I think that Megan has always looked uh, great, and here she's really hot, uh, e even even better than when she uh, had her makeover. If Seth would let her turn eighteen, I would be all over her sweet pussy and breasts. Wham bam, thank you, ma'am. Direct quote from Chris Chan on a YouTube. I was waiting video. for you yep. to. To, um, but I'm actually uh, doing something right now that's very, um, very. You're gonna be very excited. What is it? Can you can you describe it as you're doing it then? Uh, no. Okay. So sorry. I'm a little bit. I'm just a little bit preoccupied. If if you would mind, just just please entertaining the fans. Okay. Uh. Let's see. Here, I know. I know what to do. Yeah, what are you going to do? I'm going to read them. Sorry, guys. It Go on. What were you saying? I just, 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 give me a second. I'm going to read some funny ocean yes! jokes. Really? Funny ocean jokes. 52 ocean jokes that are sure to make you chuckle. <laughs> you got a okay. genuine fucking laugh from me, dude. Knock, knock. Who's there? Kelp. Kelp who? Kelp me, I'm drowning. <laughs> right? Okay, oh, okay, that's okay. good. That's good. Okay, uh, are you ready? Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, how do you make an octopus laugh? Uh, wait, wait, let me, let me, you, uh, I don't know. With ten tickles. That's what I was going to say something about tentacles, like ten, you tentacle them. That is, dude, that is, that is just dope, you know? What does a dolphin say when he's confused? <laughs> Can you please be more pacific? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That one's not very good. No, that one's, that one's actually. But, you know, if maybe they could be a little more, uh, uh, porpoiseful with, with these jokes. Okay. Right? Where's the ocean the deepest? Uh, it's actually called the Challenger Deep, and it's almost 11 kilometers deep. At the bottom. Is that really the joke? Where's yeah. the ocean the deepest at the bottom? Yeah. that That's hilarious, man. Ooh. Who keeps the ocean clean? Uh, I don't, I don't know. The mermaid? <laughs> right? Okay, this is, a, the, here's, a, okay, I'll do one more. Are you ready? Yes. Why do whales swim in salt water? Why do whales swim in salt water? Because 
Um, this one's actually like stupid. Like, I mean, they all have been stupid. This one takes the cake. Why do they swim in salt water? Because they see if you can. I'm, I'm genuinely level. thinking. Think stupid. Think stupid. Think stupid. Uh, think the most basic connection you can make. Why do they swim in salt water? Mm -hmm. Because they wa whale. They orc. Um. Stop. Just. Just wait. Just stop. Um. Just give me a second, dude. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking. giving you multiple seconds here. I don't think I, I wouldn't be able to get it. Okay, just give it to me, man. Because pepper water makes them sneeze. That is so fucking <laughs> stupid. <laughs> I told you. I told you. Think stupid. That's so stupid, dude. <laughs> Why? Okay, so I entertained everyone with some ocean jokes. Yeah. Are I you ready to unveil what's been going on, or do I need to figure out some? I'm other tent? almost. I'm almost ready to unveil it. Okay. And it's it's gonna be, it's a treat for both of us. It's a, it's a, it's a it's a wonderful treat. Okay. Well, it looks like I have to tell more ocean jokes. Yeah, you got it, man. Okay. <laughs> what did the sand say to the ocean? See you later. What are you doing tonight? Oh, <laughs> that was a good one. Yeah, that's all right, man. That's it's okay. Oh, this one's. <sighs> How do fish get to school? In the wait. Something it's gonna be. A, is it gonna be a school bus joke? It's gonna be another stupid ass and the dumb and, joke. The, and the carp pool. No one would ever. And the carp pool. You're, you're on the right track, but they decided to go with by octo bus. What? <laughs> That's so stupid. I'm gonna look. I'm just gonna make sure. Okay, I'm gonna look up the word octo bus. Yeah. Nothing. 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 Well, that's because it's not a thing. It's it's octopus. There's they not just, even like another joke. It's because it's because they just changed the P to a B. That's that's that's. Did they just make these jokes up. Yes. And this is the last joke. Uh, Perfect on the timing because I'm I'm almost done uh, with what I was doing for us. I'll, I'll pick a good one. Yeah. 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 Lay it on me, brother. Let's see it. Find the best one you can. Find the best ocean joke you can, buddy. <laughs> Yeah. Ugh. What, why did you say, ooh, it's not a good joke? These are funny, man. These are like if at the Scholastic Book Fair, I could get a joke book. Okay, there's one good one and one bad one. Want to end like that? One uh -huh. good one. Okay, here's the good one that I think is good, which you should probably, I think you should be able to get instantly. Which are the strongest creatures in the ocean? Sharks. Muscles. <laughs> That's pretty good. Right? That's pretty funny. Yeah. And, yeah. and here's another one. That is funny. Why are goldfish orange? Goldfish are orange because gold's too expensive? Because the water makes them rusty. <laughs> well, rust also is an orange, so that's stupid. Well, I mean, they had to come up with 52 ocean jokes here, okay? That's true. That's true. You know, it, it, was, it was hard for them. I wonder what number 52 is. Later I'm on. ready to make waves today. Oh, they're just ocean puns. Whale, hello there. Sorry, unveil the big secret. So, Ryan, I have been... I, I've always loved space. Um, it's so cool, one might say. <laughs> one might say, yeah. It's, Mayhaps. I, I've always been a really big space geek, but now I'm really kind of embracing it and, and letting it... Did you buy tickets for so we can go to space? Yes, <gasps> you guessed it. We're On going Bezos' to, rocket? We're going to uh, the Andromeda Galaxy, buddy. Woo! Uh, we're going to uh, Centauri, Pro Proxima Centauri B. But in the real timeline, what's happening? Um, what's going do on? Do you have airdrop on? Uh, yes. Just because it's been, it's been a while. Man. Do you know what a binary star is? It's two stars that orbit each other. Really? Yeah. Ooh. They're very common in the universe. Did you get a Matt and Ryan star? Or a super mega star? Hold up. <laughs> what, do you, what do you see, buddy? It says Matthew Chan and Ryan Kuhn. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <Those are laughs> There's a binary star system now, Ryan, where it's, it's Matthew Chan and Ryan Kuhn <laughs> okay. orbiting each other. Is that not amazing, dude? You spent more money on... on 
I ordered this was two hundred dollars. I ordered the I ordered the star How maps. How much was this? Two hundred dollars. I ordered the star maps and I ordered the uh, frame certificates. Constellation Cygnus. Cygnus. Uh, Registration number. It's such like. It's such a bullshit number. What do you? What the fuck are you talking I'm about? It's such we're a. We're not rehashing this. But they're the coordinates. That's nice. Yeah. So wait. So I I do want to put out this star map publicly when this episode comes out, so people can go find. There it is, dude. That's a beautiful fucking star map. And I got it. I got it. It's getting shipped to us. Oh my goodness gracious! There it is. Um, I'm going to Joshua Tree soon. Uh, with Jackson, and uh, one of the things I want to do is do some like stargazing it's Push one of the best place in the country and i'm gonna see if i can find ryan mcgee and ryan coon and matthew chan Ooh, matthew okay. chan matthew chan i think right yeah it's technically chan i don't know if people usually say matthew chan. yeah matthew chan and ryan coon i see i gave you the more male like manly honorific title is that more that is? coon is like 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 what you say to your bros and then uh Ch Ch chan is like what you know like friends like a lot of girls say it uh, usually, yeah, usually used for boys. As Coon is usually used for boys, especially the younger ones. What? Especially? Why was that? It just is, is a weird sentence. Just, just especially younger, younger, younger boys. Okay. Tend On to the be. contrary, especially the younger girls, ones. But the nuance is quite different. While Coon implies some kind of tension because it's for boys, like Dono, Sean is much tenderer, more intimate, and has a little bit of a funny feeling attached to it. <laughs> yeah, it does. So mine's just like, eh, mine's the more boring one. Well, I mean, do you want, I'm sorry, man. Do you want me to? Wait, no, it's honorific in anime. So it is, it is. I'm good. Okay. They're, bo they're both As long honorifics. as I'm epic in anime. Yeah. I'm trying to, I don't, I don't know how to actually find this star. I don't think this one, this star system has Exists. a Wikipedia page. <laughs> they could literally <laughs> just, 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 they wouldn't even be a real star. They just yeah. give you some bullshit and like, yep, you just got a star. I don't know why they wouldn't. There's such an abundance of stars to use. Can it we be sell? kind of a weird there's, move on there. There's like but. literally like so many stars in the universe that you couldn't even fathom the number. It's like. There, I fathomed it. It's 69 septembers. Septillion. I fathomed it all. Sex trillion. Dude, did you really just fathom that? Yep. All of it. Fuck. I can't I can't do that. What if we sold you stars? Open up your third eye. What if we sold official super mega stars? Like NFTs, but there's just stars and we license them off. It's like, what if we buy a collection of stars? Can we put Super Mega on the Hollywood Walk of Fame? The stars there? Yeah. How much is it? A million dollars? Uh, no, it's a hundred thousand. They oh. don't just give it to you. You have to qualify, and Ooh. then you have to buy your own Hollywood star. That was that was our that was our uh, self given bonus last week. Yeah, that was a good weekly bonus. Uh, wasn't as good as when we did merch a couple months no, ago. No, 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 no. Those, I mean, you can't beat eight figure bonuses. Ooh. But damn, dude, uh, I do think I, I've always said this. I think that one day, so in Hollywood on the Hollywood Walk of Stars, everyone knows like there's gonna on be the, an internet. Like, there's gonna be an internet category because yeah. right now it's they have like radio. Or maybe they, that time is dead and no one cares anymore about the Hollywood Walk of Fame and it's always in a gross, dingy little touristy part of L.A. Yeah, everyone thinks Hollywood's so glitzy and glamorous. It's not. It's really dirty and smells like piss. They make it look better whenever they pull out the red carpet mm -hmm. at the Dolby. Or, mm -hmm. or the Dolby Atmos Theater. Yep. But basically... Or a premiere at the Chinese Theater. God damn it, dude. Ryan and I were working on our book yesterday... Uh, finalizing, uh, doing some editing of the Super Mega Saves the Troops. And to hear and more about it, you'll have to suffer through these ad reads. Oh, fuck, man. After years of fine print contracts and getting ripped off by big wireless providers, if we've learned anything, it's that there's always a catch. So when I first heard that Mint Mobile offers premium wireless service starting at just 15 bucks a month, I thought, what's the catch? But after speaking with them and using their service, it all made sense. There isn't one. Mint Mobile's secret sauce is that they're the first company to sell wireless service online only. By cutting out retail stores, there's no crazy overhead costs that get passed down to you in the form of mystery fees. Instead, Mint just passes on sweet savings direct to you. You know, me and my cronies, we all use Mint Mobile. It's it's a it's a cheap and and and, and simple to to use alternative. And did I mention it is super fun? For people looking for extra savings, Mint Mobile offers premium wireless for just 15 bucks a month. 
Use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan and keep your same phone number along with all your existing contacts. Switch to Mint Mobile and get premium wireless service starting at just 15 bucks a month. That's only 15 bucks a month to get your new wireless plan for just, what is that, Matthew? 15 bucks a month. That's right. And get the plan shipped to your door for free. Go to mintmobile.com slash supermega. That's mintmobile.com slash supermega. Cut your wireless bill to 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash supermega. Hey, Ryan, I think I'm going to start up an ad read for Upstart. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) Yeah, good, good. If you're carrying a credit card balance month after month, it could feel like you're in a never-ending cycle of debt. Upstart can help you make that final payment so you can get ahead. Upstart is the fast and easy way to pay off your debt with a personal loan all online. Whether it's paying off credit cards, consolidating that high interest debt, or funding personal expenses, over half a million people have used Upstart to get one fixed monthly payment. Upstart knows you're more than just your credit score and is expanding access to affordable credit because the credit system is stupid. Unlike other lenders, Upstart considers your income and current employment status to find you a smarter rate for your loan. They don't just check your credit number and say, Pfft. they look at they look at the real you. With a five minute online rate check, you can see your rate upfront for loans between $1,000 to $50,000. You can receive funds as fast as one business day after accepting your loan. That's pretty dang fast to get that cash. I like Upstart because you go to the website, it is, uh, it's super easy to navigate, super easy to get that check. And uh, yeah, it's it's cool. Like you just put all of your all of your debt in one place and you can pay it off without having to, you know, accidentally forget to do this one or that one, boom. And I use Upstart to pay off all of my high interest credit card debt, which I I found myself in over the summer. Ha <laughs> ha. Stop, dude. Find out how Upstart can lower your monthly payments today when you go to upstart.com slash supermega. That's upstart.com slash supermega. Don't forget to use our URL to let them know that the boys sent you. Loan amounts will be determined based on your credit, income, and certain other information provided in your loan application. Go to upstart.com slash supermega. All right. Well... We're back from sponsor break. I'm so sorry that Ryan interrupted me to bring you those wonderful messages. Yeah. Hey, you got to pay the bills, baby. Yeah. Maybe we should put a free... Would you guys want us to put uh, an ad-free version on the Patreon of the podcast every week? We've asked that before. People said yeah. Oh, okay. We should just do that. Okay. Just so people that don't like ads, they got choices. It's like I can support them on Patreon and get it for free, or I can... Uh, or get it ad free, or I can just skip the ads. Also, in the YouTube version, you'll you'll see now what we do is you can look down at the little navigation bar at the bottom, and you'll see exactly where the ad segments are. And during the ad segments, there's a there's a yellow bar that fills up at the top of the screen, so you can see exactly yeah. how far into the ad break it is. So, just trying to make it the best because we we know we know some people don't like, you know, they get a little pissy. They do. They get a little. Nyeh! My free content! So, you know, we're just trying to make it as, as smooth as we can for you guys. So, we care. With a capital C. But what I was saying was, Ryan and I were editing the book yesterday, and there was a big old Skeeter in the office. Yep. And I could- And a I, Skeeter eater. I, yeah, and there was a Skeeter eater, too, in the room. I don't- He did not do his job, though. No. No, he did not. Because this mosquito was flying around the room. You saw how many times I tried to kill it. Yeah. It just kept getting away. And now I am covered in mosquito bites that I'm still finding more. Look at this. Look at this one on my wrist. Dude. It's even bloody. <clears throat> Jesus, man. That fucking Is he still is he still about? He might still be a large, man. I don't know. There was also a fly. Dude, we've been having I I don't know if it's the same fly that's been tormenting us. But I remember uh, it used to be a lot worse. But d- I'm talking about specifically like yeah, this- 2 weeks ago. Oh, you're talking about when Remember we were the eating? day with, with Leighton? Leighton was here. Like, we were all working, and there was that one fucking fly in the office room. And our office room has a really tall ceiling. So we could go hide up there and chill. Right, because it's the master bedroom. Of- wait for us to start eating, that then dive down and... Yeah, dude, and, and that... Ah! The- that fly, what was annoying was... He would, he would, he was a great, he would get up in your face. Yeah. Like not like most flies will just kind of do their shit. He would come, like not leave you alone. You swam away, come back. So we'd be sitting there working, like typing or whatever. And it's silent and you just hear. <laughs> and yesterday, fucking yesterday, we, Ryan and I here by ourselves working on the book and we took a break on the patio, uh, in between chapters. God damn it. 
if he didn't fly back in. He did. We left the door cracked. I mean, it was probably a different fly, but I like to believe it was the but same one. I saw one. it go. Vroom. Yeah. He's like, yes. <laughs> Fuck yes. My like, God damn it. So then we're inside and we're trying to edit. And you and I kept just looking up at the same time because we'd be just. To... But there was also a mosquito that like we go. Yeah, he'd go right in my ear, and that's the one that bit the fuck out of me. Dude, look at that. you can tell the dude, because like a fly's not going to sound like that. You know what's going to sound like that? A mosquito. The <laughs> right when it's in your ear, I hate it, because it's just, I have a bite right on the back of my- You're getting bit up, son. Inside of my knee, like the back elbow area. They like knee. your blood. They do. I'm just so sweet. I'm like honey, baby. I'm just, I'm just a sweet little honeysuckle for those. Yeah, you, you know, are. only female flies bite, so I guess- uh, I'm a bit of a lady magnet. They just can't stay away from sucking me. You know, I, that's my, I, mosquitoes Regular and- flies can bite? What? I thought hor horse flies bite, right? Yeah, but, but mosquitoes but... only the, the women suck Oh, blood. okay. I thought you said flies. Sorry. I might've said bad. flies. But, you know, mosquitoes and the women of Los Angeles have that in common. <laughs> they just can't stop sucking me. <laughs> oh, you know? You, you drop something. They drop my shoes. Your dignity. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I got my bad grandpa shoes on. A pair of Converse Which I got. you found out recently. Yeah. Tell, them, tell, tell the folks. I, I, I said this on uh, Brandon Wardell and Jack Wagner's podcast. Yeah, but still. But uh, it's more important when it's on the Super Mega Cast. Uh, I was at a thrift shop uh, looking through clothes that poor people had touched. Of course. And I found a pair of like brand new white Converse's, like high tops. And I love I love white high top Converse's. And I noticed on the side of each shoe was was like a... Very nice, like printed, bad grandpa logo with a, with a Johnny Knoxville and the little kid, and I was like, "What the fuck?" Because uh, they were new, so I bought them. I was like, "This is awesome that these like official bad grandpa shoes." And I've been wearing them, and then I looked them up finally to see what the deal was, and it turns out they are a cast and crew exclusive. So w people that worked on the movie, but someone gave that away, got those for free as like a gift, and they were brand new. So someone obviously just sat on them for for. Seven years. Or maybe someone passed away and that was something that was given away when going through their belongings. The little kid passed away. So was it was it did he? No. <laughs> I was like, oh damn. But that that means that was a camera person or uh maybe That's Knoxville I'm... himself. Was Dude, like, maybe those were Knoxville shoes. He was like, Yeah, I don't know, I gotta wear them. They're ten and a half. So I'm assuming they were men's. Knoxville would be the type of jackass to just throw some shit away for a good laugh. The type of what? Jackass. You, oh, you like that? Did you hear? What? They pushed it. It's February fourth now. Jackass what? four. Yeah, I put that on my calendar yep. and everything. I saw. I, have to fuck, I, I, I saw a picture I of. Actually, have to go into my calendar and change that. I saw Steve O okay. posted a picture of, or Steve O or Knoxville posted a picture of like a billboard for it, and then in the description said February fourth, and people in the comments were like, "What the fuck?" Uh, but the good news is Ryan, that's the day before my birthday, before I turn twenty six. What do you say? Maybe we have a little. Friend get together and for my birthday the day before we all go see Jackass Four premiere. That sounds amazing. And that could be my birthday celebration. That that sounds like the perfect birthday celebration to me. February fourth. So Ooh, well, now I gotta change. change what if it we on went to the Alamo Draft House? So we can uh, do whatever you want. It's gonna food? be your birthday. You get to choose what we do. We can all have food while we watch it. Ooh ooh, and I just gotta make sure it's the right color. Really big movies. shrimp. So now Jackass Forever is 150 days away. 150 days. Why do they push it? They had to add more poop and farts. Just like the super mega cast. The new Spider-Man will be out in December. Let me just triple check that I'm not... That you're not what? Misimagining this, but... Jack ass four. Yeah, now it says 2022 film when I search it. Uh, Jack ass yep. 2022 film. February 4th, 2022. Budget $10 million. That's gonna be... My birthday celebration. I like that they, like the new people they've added, like Jasper, Jasper Dolphin from Odd Future. I love that he's part of Jackass now. Because um, I love Jasper. You know? Hey, it's Jasper, not even a rapper. rapper. Only on this track to let my stacks grow faster. That sounds stupid. That was an old school. Ooh. Oldie? Oldie, that. Sorry. Yeah. I'm Some old. On my cellular phone. Frank Ocean's verse is so good. Rent a super yeah, car for a really, day. Yeah, they really around. wait up until the end for him, don't they? They do. They really hold him off. And then Tyler then was like, and it's a I, long ass song. I was only 15 when I drew that donut. <laughs> that was a good impression. Oh, dude, the little kid from Bad <laughs> that Grandpa's That was really in it. good. What? The little kid from Bad Grandpa's in Can it. Can I see what he looks like now? 
this picture he's still he's whoa not a, he's dude not a kid still <laughs> look that's the kid from bad grandpa is it really yeah what the fuck no way no uh no sorry that's just another I, s- wait that's just another celebrity I was like, no way it was it was okay yeah they misled me with this picture but let me jackson nickel today did you ever watch like the Bad Grandpa Point Five or Bad Grandpa? Um, or like, did you watch all the Jackass half movies like Jackass Two Point Five, Jackass Three Point Five? Yes. <laughs> Look at this little man. Dude. I watched Two Point Five with my dad back at our old place. I love the Point Fives because they're just chill. It's like a documentary, and they you get to see all the good shit. What's this kid look like now? Maybe like we'll see him in the movie. This? I guess. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He looks like my ugly cousin. Dude. Well, he is ugly, my cousin. So. <laughs> See, I'm seeing who else is in the cast. We got Jasper. Uh, Machine Gun Kelly was in the trailer. Hey, don't let me move to LA, man. <laughs> hey, man, I don't care who you are. You know, you come home and Kylie Jenner is naked in your bed. I don't care if you're 50 years old. She's 17, man. You're going for it. You're going for it. <laughs> oh, man. I just that I I watched some great interviews. With he has a lot of hilarious quotes out there. I like he's like he's like man. I've said this so many fucking times. Like Kylie when he was like twenty three and Kylie was seventeen. He's like she is man. Like Kylie is my celebrity crush. Man, don't please don't let me move to L A. Wasn't there one who's like thirteen, fourteen? That's 15? his tweet. The interviewer was like, "Are you counting down the days until she's 18? He's like, "Man, f- I'm not waiting until she's 18, man. Oh I'm 23, God. dog. It's not we." And then he lists off all these celebrities. Like, he's like, "Yo, man, like you know this this guy from from ACDC dated a 14 year old, even wrote a song about her. This this guy dated a 16 year old, and it's like, wh- it's, wh- that's not making it any better, dude. And then uh, there's so many interviews where he's being asked about his sex life, uh, and he's like. Oh man, all my crew is savages, you know, like there's no cock blockers in his crew, but he talks about all the sex he has and how creep, how freaky he gets. And he's like, girls don't even want to like look at my phone because it's just so disgusting. Like they, it's too much for them. And then like, uh, they asked him like, what's the, what's the cr- like craziest sexual thing he's ever done? And he's like, ha mm, mm. and he's thinking, he's like, well, I don't know. It's illegal. So, uh, and then his manager was like, tell him like, don't, don't say anything. I can't, I can't say it. And I'm like, the fuck does that mean? Oh what do you mean? God. A- any sexual act that's illegal is usually pretty heinous. Prostitution. But people come out and, and like, even the jackass guys come out in their documentaries about like how they would get prostitutes in the hotels and shit. Sex workers, Ryan. I'm can using you, the language No, they I know, used. I know, I know. But can, do people get mad if you say prostitute now? Is that not I don't acceptable? Know. I never thought it was a demeaning. I thought whore was oh, like a de- the demeaning one. Binda, whore. I thought prostitute was just a job title. Yeah, that's why. That's why. As I, a kid, that's what I thought. You know, and maybe it's maybe it's you're a fucking prostitute. I don't well, know. I get I get the negative connotation, but it's also like that's not the word itself. It's it's the what society is. You're deemed. prostituting yourself. I can't believe that prostitution is illegal. That's very dumb. I think if you want to sell your body. It, it, it's a good it's a service so it's like if someone wants to pay for that and you're willing to supply it we let them why? do it online with this only fans it's only fans bullshit is prostitution illegal because it's just one of those ways that the the old governor dudes are like keeping women humble it's like i don't know that like i i honestly don't know the history i was like Sometimes I wonder if it's like from a history of like when like stds are running rampant and so they like kind of like set up this kind of propaganda shit Let's that's see. The, that's 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 the mysterious part. The case for making it against talking. the law to buy sex begins with the premise that it's base that it's base and exploitative and demeaning to sex workers. Uh, saying that legalizing prostitution helps pimps, fails to protect women, and leads to more back alley violence. Legalizing does. Yeah, but the thing is, here's here's the, what the, I would making it illegal forces them to. I thought go to go to people who would traffic them. Whereas if it were... And they could regulate the industry if, with STD screenings. Or if it were legal... They'd they, have safety from pimps. They'd not have to be connected to a pimp. Like crime rings. They could just do it themselves. Because a lot of human trafficking is done in prostitution. And I think that... 
I, I, I do think that if prostitution was legalized, I think there would, would be less sex trafficking, right? Because now people would be able to go work for a business to do it. Like for a, it's like, oh, there's a prostitution business mm -hmm. instead of having to like go with some, some scary pimp. Dude, that's so pimp. Big scary pimps. Mm -hmm. Ryan McGee the pimp. <laughs> that's Pimp McGee. Yep, that's what they call me. That's purple hatted pimp McGee. It's in my Irish blood. <laughs> we, we we Irish pimps. <laughs> we Irish pimps. And imagine Jack. Always Septic know what to do. Pimp. Top of the morning, bitches! I'm your pimp. Jack Septic is a blue pimp. shirt guy. <laughs> Dude, who is this blue shirt guy? Who is this blue shirt guy? You sound like Jordan Peterson. <laughs> Jordan Pimperson. He's Jordan Canadian, Peter not pimp. Irish. Well, he sounds Irish. Yeah, you know he has an Irish you accent know. though. Well, that's the thing, you know. You know, Jordan Peter Pimp. If one were to become more like, I don't know, exempt, just, just, I don't know, open your mind, man. <laughs> I think the women ultimately should stay home, and feed the kids, and <laughs> stop dishes. wearing makeup in public because. Did he because, say that? No, we no no. I'm I. Uh, pe he said some pretty bad. Would get upset, but he's saying like, "Well, you know, you wear makeup because it makes you more attractive. You know, it's a sexual attractor. Red it's not lipstick. fair. Men don't get to do that. Accentu accentuates the lips. Blush makes the cheekbones come out. You know, these are things that you do to your bodies for intentional reasons. Otherwise, why would you do it? Yeah, duh. So like, why did people comb their hair? He he said some pretty nasty to look stuff about women. But yeah, he his, said they should all go die. Yeah, he said they should burn He said they in should hell. be launched to the sun. Okay. Every single hey, woman. Finally, some peace and quiet, all right? <laughs> oh, you know? Wait, yeah. who was the... Was it Colin Mori Moriarty or whatever his Colin name? Colin Moriarty? How do you say his name? What is that? Who's, who's that the sounds, guy... That sounds like a fucking villain from, like, Sherlock Holmes. Colin Moriarty. How do you Colin say Colin Moriarty. The guy from, uh... Adventure Time? Colin Moriarty, yeah. The, uh, the guy from... Uh, from what? Help me. Not Colleen help Moriarty. Help me help you. Uh, help me help you. Whose line is it anyway? Colin... Oh, God. Just Colin. I know who you're talking no, about. No, it's not Moriarty. It's was it, was it was it him, though, who tweeted, like, on, like, National Women of Day of Silence, where it's like a protest, like, women aren't like, <laughs> speaking that, and he's finally some peace and quiet, and he just got fucking obliterated on Twitter. <laughs> was it him? I, Jackson knows. Uh... Let me just look up women tweet some peace and quiet. <laughs> like, because, like, a comedian says that in, in like, it's... <laughs> yeah, Kali Moriarty on Twitter. Here it is. He didn't never delete it. Ah, peace and quiet. Hashtag a day without a woman. <laughs> it's just a coincidence. Or is it? And let me see what uh, people said. Uh, I never thought he was funny. I didn't either. It's my favorite thing that people say whenever, like... <laughs> something happens. Yeah, I never thought he was funny. I never did really find him funny, though, to be honest. <laughs> what? Colin Moriarty? They, they were all they were all fun. They all... I, I thought Wayne the Brady, black dude was funny. Ryan, Wayne Brady. Wayne Brady. Is that who it was? Yeah. That was fucking Wayne Brady, brother. On whose lines anyway? Yes. He'd sing all the time. He was really good at the it. sportsman, Wayne Brady? <laughs> what? Is Wayne Brady gonna have to choke a bitch? <laughs> yeah, that Wayne Brady. Yeah, all right. Dude, that's crazy. Ryan something. Ryan Reynolds, the blue shirt guy. <laughs> no. Who was that blue shirt guy? Someone needs to find out who this blue shirt guy <laughs> is. And Free Guy, they're going through all the clips of like Ninja, Jackson, like, just Jordan Peterson. Like, who is this blue shirt <laughs> yeah. guy? He's at, a, he's at a lecture like with his microphone like, so I'm sure you've heard of this blue shirt guy. <laughs> who is this blue shirt guy? And you know, he looks like he has a very... A very good tailor. He he cleans up well. He's responsible. You you can take a look at him and and know right from the start he has a very clean and organized living space, Dude. which also leads to a very clean and organized mind. How can you expect to change the world if you can't even pick up your own clothes? For God's sakes! I like to like. Obviously, he's an intelligent man, but I like the like the dudes on Reddit and stuff that like he's like it's fucking that genius. Him. And it's like, dude, he literally just says like, "Go clean your room." You should pick and choose what you know. You people don't understand that like just you liking or not liking, but like agreeing with one thing someone says doesn't mean you have to agree with everything they say. Or like, what? Why? What is that? It's a helicopter. Are they circling us? Yeah, they're probably coming to arrest us again, dude. Shit. Okay, hold on. We'll um, 
we'll be right back after. Let's, let's have some sponsors and yeah. we'll go we'll go lock the doors. Yeah. Ho hum. Is something preventing you from achieving your goals? Like I want to get really good at Minecraft, but right now I get tilted whenever I get too angry at a mob for killing me. Like when a creeper blows up. Anyways, if you have problems like that, then BetterHelp is just for you. BetterHelp will assess your needs and match you with your own licensed professional therapist. It'll connect you in a safe and private online environment. It's also very convenient. You can start communicating in just under 48 hours. It's not a crisis line. It's not self-help. It is professional counseling done securely online. Send a message to your counselor anytime and you'll get a timely and thoughtful response. Plus, you can schedule weekly video or phone sessions. BetterHelp is committed to facilitating great therapeutic matches so they make it easy and free to change counselors if needed. It's more affordable than traditional offline counseling and financial aid is available. Find the particular expertise you need online. Don't limit yourself to the counselors located near you. There are licensed professional counselors who are specialized in depression, stress, anxiety, relationships, sleeping, trauma, anger, family conflicts, LGBT matters, grief, self-esteem, or if you're like me, anger in Minecraft. Anything you share is confidential. Just check out the testimonials posted daily on their site. In fact, so many people have been using BetterHelp that they are recruiting additional counselors in all 50 states. And we want you to start living a happier life as well. As a listener, you'll get 10% off your first month by visiting our sponsor at BetterHelp.com com slash super mega join over 1 million people who have taken charge of their mental health again that's better help h-e-l-p dot com slash super mega geez louise ryan if i had extra time and money life certainly would be a breeze you know i could just i could just get so much more work done on super mega i could just get so much more i could make more mediocre music but you know i'm i i i, I all of my time is consumed uh, by just the hassle at the post office. You know, going to the post office just takes up all of my time. Are you guys all still going to the post office, still paying full price for no. postage? Well, this doesn't apply to you. Still paying, f- still paying full price for postage? Well, thanks to stamps.com, that's a thing of the past. Mail and ship anytime, anywhere, right from your computer. Send letters, ship packages, and pay less, a lot less, with discounted rates from the USPS, UPS, and more. Stamps.com saves businesses thousands of hours and tons of money every year. Stamps.com brings the services of the U.S. Postal Service and UPS right to your computer. It's right at your desk. You don't have to go to the dang post office anymore. It's a must-have if you have a business like Ryan and I do. Whether you're a small office sending invoices, a side hustle Etsy shop shipping out orders, or you're a small YouTube channel trying to copy Super Mega, Stamps.com can handle it all with ease. No wonder over a million businesses choose Stamps.com for their mailing and shipping. Simply use any computer to print official U.S. postage 24-7 for any letter, any package, any class of mail, anywhere you want to send. Once your mail is ready, you schedule a pickup or drop it off. It's that simple. With Stamps.com, you get discounts up to 40% off post office rates and up to 66% off UPS rates. That's, uh, that is crazy. Stamps.com is a no-brainer, saving you time and money. It's no wonder nearly 1 million small businesses already use Stamps.com. We used to always find ourselves in the position where we'd have to mail something while we're at the Super Megaplex. We'd have to, you know, ship out a, a check or or a million dollars cash in an envelope. Um, and it'd be like, well, we don't have any stamps. Uh, and that sucks. Most people don't have stamps on hand these days. And it's like, now I got to go all the way to the post office, deal with the lady there that doesn't like us and we don't like her. Uh, but now with stamps.com, we don't have to do that anymore. We can just do it straight at the Super Megaplex and have them come pick it up. So stop wasting time going to the post office and go to stamps.com. There's no risk, and with our promo code SUPERMEGA, you get a special offer that includes a four-week trial plus free postage and a digital scale. (laughs) No long-term commitments or contracts. Just go to stamps.com, click on the microphone at the top of the homepage, and type in SUPERMEGA. One word. That's stamps.com, promo code SUPERMEGA. Never go to the post office again. Okay, that was the Peterson Copter. Uh, We are safe. Uh, We will stop talking about... Yeah. Uh, that guy, that not blue shirt, shirt guy. guy. Well, I'm sure I could find a picture of him in a blue shirt. <laughs> Wait, he right here. He's wearing a blue shirt. This picture now, right here. blue shirt guy. <laughs> God, that movie would have been. I didn't see it, but it would have been. So it looks like a little thing. Nancy boy. So no, this isn't someone I want my daughter dating. I want my daughter dating someone with fur, someone who could keep him warm at night. A red shirt guy. <laughs> so yeah. who is this blue shirt guy? <laughs> so there's this guy. And you might have heard about him. A lot of people, a lot of buzz in the media right now about this blue shirt guy. And blue is also the color that the Democratic Party uses. So, so just keep that in mind. 
And Who I is know this blue shirt guy? Marvel is trying to get on the side of the Republicans by having their logo continue to be a beautiful red. Who is? Who is this blue shirt guy? So Super Mega has once again made fun of my voice. So talking again, about as if I was in the movie Free Guy, which I was not. I was not in the movie Free Guy. I found you on IMDb. I found blood in my urine. <laughs> what? Did I have no idea that? what's going on. I went to the doctor. Is this? Did he really say this? No. Oh. So I could just see about like on the daily. So I found like <laughs> like transitioning from talking about like like Israel to like. So I found blood in my urine this morning. Uh, <laughs> I urinated when I woke up and there was blood in it. So <laughs> I called my doctor. I'm waiting for him to call me back. Uh, but they, uh, they're they not going to be able to see me for a while. But I think it's kind of urgent. So Stephen Crowder like, who is this blue shirt guy? He's coming back, baby. All of these like right wing. He's pundits. coming back. Stephen Crowder. Yeah, he put out a announcement from his from his health ailments. Fuck. He said he said, I'm bringing hell with me or something like Did he? that. I think so. Hold badass, on. man. He was, he was <laughs> very he, badass. Wait, is he going to be even louder? Wait, Joe Rogan effectively did what? Injected ivermectin. What treatment do they give you right now for COVID? I'm not talking about a vaccine. Oh, great. Because he's he's, he's he's having the horse paste shit. The oh. horse dewormer. Hold up, hold up. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. It says, okay, YouTube. Tomorrow I'm back. 10 a.m. Eastern time. And hell's coming with me, you hear? And then in all caps, hell's coming with me. Dude, what if he actually hashtag Crowder come come back? What if he actually brought Satan with him? Like he comes back because I told you I was bringing hell, and he brings Satan with him. <laughs> Have you ever seen that public access uh, show of Satan? Like that guy did like the like the Satan public access show. He painted and, himself red. Uh, I think so. And he got in, like he got the, the the he got I think arrested for it, and the network's gotten a lot of trouble for. Did he show nudity? Yeah, and he said a lot of swear words. Um, <laughs> but it's good. It's so good. What, what I love, I, like, I have a, like, certain nostalgia for shit like that. Like, the creepy uh, radio caller that Satan came in. Oh, what was that one? What's, do you remember the one where the dude calls the radio station? He's like, um, I don't have much time. It was on the Art Bell there, show. Yeah. Coast to coast. That and, he, and he said that he worked at Area 51. And he's like, I've been on the run. They're tracking me down. And what what's coming, Art, is... <laughs> Mass destruction and the elites, they, as they know it's coming and they're not doing anything. And then he, and then he did, I, he gets cut off and the entire network goes down. Yeah. So that's, that's the part. About if that was not like staged by, if them, it was only him and that was it, like if it was only him and then you're like, oh, that's just some dude ranting and raving. But like that shit went black. If like, if that wasn't planned, like if that wasn't Art Bell being like, all right, we're gonna we're gonna, gonna goof him good. If that actually like if that really just happened the way that they said, and you can listen to the it online, it's freaky. But like that that actually is scary. If that's the case, yeah. then, then I'm like, all right, maybe he's being honest. I wonder like, or it's this guy with schizophrenia and really poor timing. Oh, true. But he said that there there are disasters coming to curb the human population, and they know this, and they're not doing anything about it to stop them. Nope, because they. They 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 are moving the elite now to 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 bunkers to Mars to Mars yeah dude I don't think billionaires would want to live on Mars man it's not how are they gonna go eat their nice shrimp and caviar they'll spend billions of dollars to create in house sanctuaries to replicate Earth as if they were outside but it's still going to be technically inside mm. they're gonna be they're gonna put a giant bubble around Mars <laughs> instead of terraforming it they're just gonna build a big ass bubble. <laughs> It's going to be two pieces like a like a toy capsule and <laughs> click them together. Mars is I can't they're believe they realize they didn't poke any holes in it. No. no! <laughs> I can't believe that poke any holes in it like the air is coming from space. <laughs> how are we going to get the air in? Mars it's so cool how Mars used to actually like have oceans and and probably had a lot of life. Oh well. Yeah. Fuck Mars. No fossil record. Yeah, well that's we haven't explored Mars enough to know if there's fossils. Uh, you know? We had that one sad ass uh, drone, not drone. What is he? Called? Rover, <laughs> rover. That was like, I'm cold and it's getting dark. And then he, and then it said like, I, I. But why did it say that? I think so I, some dude. Typed I think it someone in. programmed it to say that. Obviously, <laughs> it's like, it yo, it's gonna be so. Uh, this is gonna be awesome. I, th I, I mean, it didn't speak for itself. Like, hey guys, I'm sentient. By the way, did it play a song? On, it did on Mars. It played a. Uh, I'll be seeing you by Billy. Did you say that like made you cry when you saw that? Yes, I read. I read like a description of what happened, and it was actually like incredibly touching. Look at this. 
It played this song right before it died on Mars. I'm trying to keep it away so we don't get copyright, but imagine that this just sitting on Mars, the sun is setting, and, and this is just echoing out loud through the barren landscape. You know? Dude. It's cool. Dude, I have to add that to this month's playlist. I added it to my playlist earlier this year because I like driving the car and listening to I'll it. I'll see you again. I'll be seeing you. Ow. Ow. Seeing you. Billy Holiday. I thought this was supposed to be a man. Nope. No, of course. Any woman named Billy actually has a penis. Billy Eilish has a penis. Mm -hmm. 37 tracks now. On this quarter's playlist. Woo! Which is a lot of fucking music. My man. For I'm, me. I'm going to add that to my September playlist, actually. Yeah, because you said you only had like two songs in some of your playlists. Well, like way back when I would do month to month playlists. Like I can go back. And Let, like, let's see where I'm at right some now. Some playlists are only like half an hour. Or this one of one month is just four minutes. But BB No Money's in it. Let's go. Bill, the, the BB No it's, Money? It's only... There's one month where it was only La 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 and Sunny Day with Kill Bill the Rapper and Rap. La, la. Oh, Sunny Day is a good song. Um, oh, yeah. So September, I already have 15 tracks. August, I, I had 33. July, 25. June, 48. My biggest one this year was See, like you, like, April with 55. You have so many. You have so much music. Like in one month, you'll find like cl anywhere between 30 to 50 new songs. Or at least songs not necessarily that, you, new. that you add to a playlist because you hear it again and you're like, oh, I'm nostalgic for that. Yeah, and also I, I <clears> loosened <throat> up my like qualifications for adding a song to my playlist because I should be real picky about it and be like, oh, it only has to be like the best songs I find. Yeah. But then I got, it's like, no, I just want whatever I'm listening to right now instead so of you like- you just be chilling in your car and like you'll just yeah. have music on. And I mean, that's the main reasons because I want to shuffle, I want to have a lot of music in my car, but if, like if I go back- I mean, I was listening last night. I was working on setting up my studio at my house, which is finally coming together. I finally got a good setup. And I was listening every month. I like to go back and listen to that same month from other years. So I was listening to September 2018 uh, last night um, while I was, you know, setting up my studio. And it was so cool because, like, just hearing those songs and also hearing those songs in that order that I hadn't heard in so long, like, just brought me straight back to that time period of September 2018 and it was awesome um that's why like I create uh that's why at, I like the playlist at the end of each year I create a year playlist so I can just go back to each individual year and just kind of like absorb it all yeah man it's 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 really cool that you can um music can just take you back you know it's like you can just like there's that's why I like doing these playlists and I, I encourage other people listening to uh, if you don't find enough music or listen to enough music to make a monthly one, try making a quarterly playlist. So four playlists a year and just whatever you're listening to, put it in that time. So then let's say in 2025, you can be like, you can remember April of, of 2021 or 2020 and how you were feeling. And then you can go back and look at that music and it'll take you, it's like a soundtrack for that part of your life and you, it'll take you right back. Uh, even for the sad parts. It, I like going back sometimes during the sad parts of my life and like listening back to it and being like, yeah, I remember when I felt this way. Um, <clears throat> my saddest time ever was February through April 2018. And the songs got real sad. Damn. Yeah. February, March, and April. The but also there's some, re there's some of the best songs, I think. I have... You could say something was interfering with your happiness. No, we're not... We're not leading into the better help ad read that way. No, we already did it. Oh. But yeah, something was interfering with my happiness. Listen to this. It was like this type of music. Is that a girl moaning? No, it's a man moaning, dude. That wasn't a man moaning. Rewind that. Dude. Listen to It's a guy breathing in the microphone. But listen to this. Listen how sad this is, dude. Can't play that's that's windy by too Richie much Woods. in the podcast. Nope, playing the whole song. <laughs> I need to make another. It's been a while, and people have been demanding and requesting that I uh, make more. Uh, Matt, people have Matt been asking on Spotify. I mean, on Where on is on the Patreon. next Matt Watson playlist on Spotify. What's the next Matt Watson mixtape? Um, yeah. So I definitely want to. I've been thinking this week about making another. Starting to get back on the monthly Matt Watson mixtapes on Patreon. Um, even though it's like 
you know, some people think that's a shitty perk, but it's just an extra thing I like putting on there. I have fun. So I, we pay to get handed other people's music that by I can, this Let's Player? And technically, people can just actually look up the playlist on Spotify, so you don't even no, have to. No, they can't. Uh, actually, no, they can't. But You have to be a patron. Um, I like making them just because it's... Uh, I love sharing music, and I and I think it's a cool way to... Also, like, I like on Patreon, we... On Patreon, we actually talk to you guys quite a bit, like, in the Discord or comments, and I like well, I like doing... I'll talk to them through uh, burps and farts. <laughs> Ryan will enter the voice channel, Ryan's Chambers, and then wait for people to join, see what's going on, and then he'll just, like, rip ass and hang up. Or I, my favorite thing was when you uh, left your car keys in there. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if people have recorded you this shit. Probably not. It's so quick. That's can, the problem. Yeah. Like it's like, oh we, shit. We can do something right now. You want to jump into the? You want to jump into Ryan's chambers real quick? Should we? Do, oh, someone's in there. Do you want to? Do you want to? Should we ask them what they're doing? Dude, did you leave your uh, car keys in Ryan's chamber again? Uh, no. I left my sunglasses though. Oh, okay. Okay, hold up. Go, go get your sunglasses. Hello. Hey, Hello, uh, Ryan. Oh, Ryan. What's up? How are you? Uh, I'm looking for my sunglasses. Have you seen them? I might have left them in the chambers. Oh shoot! Uh, I I have not. Um, maybe they might be uh, at your mama's house. Okay, I'll check. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> that guy's no idea he's on the podcast. <laughs> no, he's gonna listen and go. Whoa! I love. I love like. This happens every time we jump in. It's like, oh, Ryan. Ryan! It's like, they just see someone named Ryan. They're like, hey, Ryan. Ryan! Because <laughs> they like, see the, yeah. Or people be like, think it's like a Matt Watson fan. I'd be like, oh, Matt Watson. Matt, woo! <laughs> and then everyone jumps in at once and then starts speaking too loud. It's because I got, it's because I got them with a Yo Mama joke earlier. That same person? They were asking what my at was and I just replied at Yo Mama. Yo. So. Dude, did you see me kill Eddie Burback this week? Dude. Ratio not once but twice. Something you tried to do to me, might I say? Well, I didn't very, expect which to... was very backstabby for a best friend. For some, like that's not something you would expect a best friend to do. Listen, man, I was in a dark place. <laughs> Maybe an I've acquaintance. Grown. I've grown from that. Maybe like a business acquaintance or something. Here, Eddie Burback is. He's just trying so hard to get verified. Verified. On, on Twitter, it's all he cares about. Have someone about. write him an article about him. Or and I remember when I can, was there. You can pay for it. Oh, yeah. I'll pay for his article? Yeah. I don't have to, you don't have to pay for an article you've written. You just got to be a notable person, Eddie. Yeah, um, but then the, then the narrative could be that you paid for an article for Eddie, and that's how he got To help verified. get him verified? Yeah. Then he would owe me. Yeah. But basically, he, oh, he was always asking. And I said, you know, as a verified user, I said, yo, Eddie, I know a way you can get verified. And he responded and was like, how? And then I said, D's nuts with like all caps, <laughs> laughing, crying emojis. Classic. And he man. was like, he was like, I thought you were my friend. And then I responded, sorry, I had to, but actually I do. I can. I know a way. And he said, how? And then I hit him again the next day. D's nuts. Oh. Got him twice in a row. And then I posted the screenshot of it and he tried. He was like, hey, Matt, I just thought of a funny idea for a tweet. And I said, cool. And then he responded he, with Ligma balls. Yep. And then I just responded with ratio and I ratioed the hell out of him. And then he responded to that with trying to also get me back. And then I said ratio part two and ratioed him again. You didn't even remember what he what he put? No. What? Why would I? <laughs> He's not a notable person, Ryan. That was that's one of my proudest Twitter. Do you, do you think back at Eddie's ma like decrepit mansion, lightning struck and he shook his two fists? In the no! <laughs> Matt Watson! <laughs> Yeah, and he ripped his fake mustache off and threw it on the floor. <laughs> that, that, that's a, what is it? That's a dark Eddie. Dark back. <laughs> Eddie, Eddie dark Eddie back. Eddie dark back. Eddie bareback. <laughs> I love calling him Eddie bareback. <laughs> My favorite category of, bareback's only described for gay porn, right? Like, I, I never see so. it straight porn bareback. I never like man fucks woman bareback. <laughs> Let me let me look up bareback. What's the definition of bareback? <laughs> With your bare back on the whatever. But a woman could would have a bareback. Yeah, you could you could be. I'm guessing definition yeah. of bareback. I'm, I'm guessing it means your bare back is on. Oh, or is it uh, bareback on an unsaddled horse or other animal? Oh, uh, <laughs> in relation to sexual intercourse without a condom. So I know oh. that it means like without a condom, but 
uh, relating to fun. or denoting sexual intercourse that's performed without a condom. Okay, wait, bareback, vaginal. Oh, here's the Wikipedia page for bareback. Eddie bareback is a physical sexual activity, especially sexual penetration without the use of a condom. The topic primarily concerns anal sex between men who have sex with men without the use of a condom and may be distinguished from unprotected sex because bareback sex denotes the deliberate act of foregoing condom use. Okay. So I'm saying, no, I could use a condom to have gay sex. No, I'm not going to. I'm going bareback. Mm -hmm. Bareback Mountain is also a fantastic movie. Brokeback Mountain? Bareback Mountain. <laughs> A uh, slang term bareback sex comes from the equestrian term bareback, which refers to the r practice of riding a horse without a saddle. I'm, I'm trying to see where how it originated for gay men. Uh, the term was used by GIs during the Vietnam War when sex without the use of a condom was known as going in or riding bareback. Going in, boys. The term was included in the 1972 publication Playboy's Didn't they all Book get of a bunch of STDs. Yes, because nice. they were they were raping people left and right. Whoa, dude! Soldiers. That's yeah, not man. cool. American it's, troops wouldn't do that. American troops would never rape the most honorable women. people. Think of Chris Kyle. Honorable man. American rapist? No. That was the original title of the movie. I mean, they changed it to American <laughs> Sniper. I'm just kidding. I'm not calling Chris Kyle a rapist. I don't know if he was. There's Brock no, Turner's a rapist. Brock Turner is a rapist. Barack Turner, more like. Yeah, that's what I thought. Brock Turner is a disgusting rapist. And, uh... Don't believe everything you read, guys. He uh, has been banned from the Swimming Association for Life. <laughs> <laughs> it's just not fair. <laughs> it's all because he's white, too, man. I'm so pissed what they did to Bro. I love what his mom said in an interview. It's like segregation, but reversed now. <laughs> <laughs> I like what his mom said. In his mom legitimately had the goal to say, like, in an interview, like, how, t how torn up he was over all of this, like over being, uh, like having to go through the lawsuit. And she's like, he's not even eating his favorite snacks anymore. Darn, man. He raped a woman. And now he's so upset about being caught for raping a woman, he won't even eat his favorite snacks. The Rice crispy. Oh, My son so can't even full. flirt anymore. Uh, well, Henry Cavill still says that you, you can't flirt in bars. <laughs> just can't flirt anymore. Yeah, there's, yes, you can. You just can't aggressively, sexually... Or just harass take a hint someone and, and accept that, like you know, not everyone wants to be flirted with. Mm -hmm. It should be pretty easy to be like, "Hey," and if they're like, mm -hmm. it, "It should be real quick to tell if someone." You is, can be social at a bar, you yeah, know. Like, could, there's I, nothing wrong with going up and talking to someone at a bar. I could say, I could like go up but to your a, goal. Shouldn't be, I'm going to fuck you. And and if and you know if you if you see someone at just a club or bar and you're neck. like, I want to fuck this person, and you go and flirt with them. You know, that's that's a pretty normal thing that happens at bars and clubs, but it should be pretty within the first minute you can tell like some if people they're I don't pick think can up. take hints. They're just like, oh, think, well, a lot of people it's like if I keep down. going, if yeah. I keep going, they'll they'll finally got to wear her down. You know, I'm going to really, you know, she wants my dick. She just doesn't know it yet. You yeah. Know? So don't be a creep at bars. I know that there's some super mega fans listening to this that definitely would not know how to take a hint and be a creep just, at casinos. Yeah. Casinos is good. And especially the drinks are free. Yeah. So you could say, can I get you a drink, baby? And you don't even have to pay anything. <laughs> yep. Uh, so, and then she can watch you, try to, you'll try to impress her and she'll watch you blow half your life savings and walk away. But don't, it, when you're talking to people, this goes for women too, when you're talking at bars or clubs, just take a hint. Just like, just, just really, just, be, 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 just ease up. There's plenty of fish in the sea. And if this one specific partner is just not taking it, so don't, don't, don't keep trying. Me. It. <laughs> Yeah, don't you go fishing for me. I ain't with the kissing because that ain't no fun. I got 99 Which problems the and the fish ain't one. Officially, I feel like my conspiracy theory has weight to it. Has water to it. Has has some water, has some weight to it. Of the reason, because I feel like we have we had a good bit of listens, but I feel like the listens should have been higher. What are we at? 200,000 something? 200 something thousand. But like Brand New Shirt has like a million. My Two Lovely Uncles has 800,000. You'd think like DTF with how we pushed it and with the music video, it would have gotten right. some more... Some, well, why some is that, Ryan? Push. Well, for some reason, it's listed as a... F I, we've mentioned this before, but I'm going to complain about it again. Because this is my podcast <laughs> with my friend Matt Watson. And uh, we... Fuck, what, guide me on the right path? Where I'm, I'm a bit intoxicated. What? I'm on crack fentanyl? cocaine. Oh, crack. Well, at least it's not the fentanyl you've been doing. Yeah. Um, yeah, for some reason, we use DistroKid to distribute our music. It's listed as an audiobook. audiobook. Yeah. Not a single. On, on desktop, 
it says it's a song, but it's a lie. mobile, it says audiobook. And it's like, DTF is not a book. It's, it's, Super Mega Saves the Troops is a book, and you and guys will love it. Kid doesn't even allow doesn't allow distri distribution of audiobooks. It's for songs. I also I, I emailed them or I, I DM'd them on Twitter, and they, they said, got back to me today. Someone else's problem. I, they said hi. Unfortunately, I can't be much help with this via Twitter DM. Please reach out via our contact form at distrokid.com/contact. So maybe we'll hear back in six. To and eight it's weeks. not going to be recommended to anyone if it's a it's fucking not audiobook. Are right, is it getting recommended to you guys out there? We were in the car yesterday where Ryan and I were driving and some Matt Watson came on at random and I quickly changed it. You recognized it right away. I appreciate I did. that. But I, I, I did you see me look over it with a little cheeky grin whenever I heard the first little boop? And I said, No, I played this on purpose, Ryan. I queued this up. You probably. This? You probably set it up so it would go during the drive. Like, oh no, oops. Just just to test me to Sorry, see, you know. See how long it would take me to realize it was you. Sorry, man. My music just gets recommended so much by the <laughs> algorithm, you know? Because I listen to so much good music. It does get recommended to me uh when I listen to like my Spotify suggested shit sometimes. And it's you think it would, it horribly wouldn't... embarrassing for me when I'm like with a public group and my own song starts playing because it looks like I put my own music on. I'm like, fuck. Well, you'd think that they'd have something where it's like the artist wouldn't have to be recommended their own shit. I don't. That seems weird. Well, they don't know that it's that I'm the artist because my Spotify account is separate from my Spotify artist. Oh, account. there's no there. Like, no, there's no linkage, bro. Like uh, there's no linkage park. <laughs> Come on. Love that band, dude. All right. I guess I should submit a request to Distro Kid for for. For help with this bullshit. Yeah, we need someone to help us kick ass. And we need someone to help us wrap up episode 261 of the podcast. You want to do it, Ryan? Yep. Um, ooh, ooh. I'll end it with uh, one last ocean joke. Ooh, that's good. Okay. Is the music coming in? Yeah, the music's coming in. Okay, are you ready, Matt? Yes. Okay, 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 okay. Hold up, hold up. Okay. Mm -hmm. Why can elephants swim whenever they want to? Uh, because they always have their trunks. Yep. 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 Okay, uh -huh. bye everybody. Bye.